disclaimer, and go. Hack Divers 2 is a game where you spread democracy using perfectly balanced weapons. It says so in the box. Hey hey Helldivers, set a jewel here, uh, <clears throat> and I've got some news for you. Not good. As you all know, there is no update this Tuesday. Following the no updates last week, this is probably the longest content drought that we've been in so far. Or at least it felt like it. It's probably for a good reason. They don't want a repeat of what just happened in patch 1004, uh, where they fix an issue where flamethrower particles would ignore enemies, only to end up making it ignore one specific enemy, the chargers. Okay. So what broke in the update are the chargers' butts. They don't take damage half the time, essentially making the flamethrower even worse by accident. And keep in mind, this is after they fix the fact that the flamethrower can go through chargers' leg armor, making them essentially just another crowd clearing tool with limited range and a huge risk to burn yourself. Nice. Perfectly balanced. Yes, it's embarrassing. Like revving your engine in a drag race, and when the light turns green, you stall the engine, and everybody, including the cops, are laughing at you as you're trying to restart the engine. But the engine doesn't start, so you have to call in a crane truck service to get your car. And then the truck tried to go under a low bridge, it hits the bridge, and leak hydraulic fluids all over your car. Okay, you get the idea. It's fun to make fun of Arrowhead for essentially delivering a half-baked patch that breaks something unrelated to what they're buffing. It's baffling how that could happen until you realize what engine they're using. More on this later. Look, all jokes aside, I am glad they're making sure it has the shine and polish it needed because they damn well know people will ostracize the crap out of them if they fail to deliver this next patch. And you know what? Shout out to Piles, the CCO, for being communicative for the community. That's a real sentence I just typed, okay. It really is not every day that you get to see a man of his position gathering feedback, getting people hyped, and simply interacting and responding to the community on Discord by sharing leaks of the next patch notes. It's super cool. I have a lot of respect for him for doing so, and I think people tend to focus too much on the negative and cynical side of Arrowhead since, you know, they are a bunch of filthy liars! So what is taking them so long? My game theory is they're doing more testing. What degree of testing, we don't know until they respond to us this Thursday. I was in the middle of working on my mech video, in anticipation for some sort of news or update to only be met with an announcement they're gonna yap more in two days. Brother, Arrowhead, the community and your CCO advocates for less talking and more acting, and you're here to break the news that you're gonna yap some more? What? I, I also heard that they're gonna release the blog during the release of Space Marine 2, make of that what you will. Editor's note, I can report with a high degree of confidence that it's allegedly true. They are doing more testing, and the patch will probably drop sooner rather than later. This post on Reddit, take it with a grain of salt, claims they have a test server that is probably used to test changes to make sure everything is in working order. This 60-day plan sure is taking a while, eh? Uh, I, I just hope it's not the case of a high school student doing their homework on the last day before the deadline. Right, Shams? Take Filet said it best, when Arrowhead could have released a quick band-aid patch to fix the drop-off damage by giving every weapon a damage buff across the board. Like, they could have easily just given recoilless rifle and quasar and eat plus fr frickin 10 damage to counteract it i mean i don't know I, I thought they would have done it by now to be honest with you or even upping the player morale by reverting the nurse to some weapon like the slugger breaker and even the incendiary breaker to keep players happy in the short term while they work on bigger issues like the bile titan head glitch in which pals already confirmed they fixed it on discord warning Warning, I'm not a developer. I don't quite understand how hard it is to just add 5 damage to every weapon without accidentally making hunters have the same health pool as Charger and make them insta-kill you no matter what armor you're wearing. But I know from several sources that they are working with a Frankenstein's monster of, an, of a game engine that is filled with a bunch of pasta for codes. So yes, I am disappointed with this news, and I bet all of you are too. But I will keep my hopes up that the game will get better in the upcoming weeks, or even days, if they finally decide to grow a pair and put their balls where their mouth is. Wait, that's not how the saying goes. Here's my own personal non-biased take on this announcement. I think it's good that they are trying to communicate on their progress. Fantastic even. It's better to address what's happening currently, rather than complete radio silent. But communication goes both ways. The complaints have always been, whenever we're trying to convey our dissatisfaction for the past 5 months or so, the developers never took our words into account, and just keep nerfing stuff that don't deserve it. People are losing faith in their decision making, becoming cynical, perhaps too cynical, to the point where in my opinion, action needs to happen urgently, not 3 weeks after their announcement. Breaking news! Uh, Shams on Discord has released a statement about Thermite Grenade buff in two weeks. Meaning, possibly, hypothetically, reportedly, allegedly, whatever, the update is coming in two weeks. The first big update will be 17th September. 
the deadline for this 60-day plan is 12 October 2024, which is a uh, 58.33% of the 60-day plan. Uh, yes, I did the math myself. Thank you for asking. That's not ideal in my opinion, but hey, they're taking QA seriously this time after that catastrophic blunder that is past one double four. So yeah, that's my gripe about them announcing their upcoming announcement in two days or tomorrow, I guess. I don't know when this video will come out. Someone commented on Tick Filet's vid said this is like a teaser before a trailer of a movie and it's super accurate. Thank you for watching. We did it guys. We reached 100 subscribers. I did not expect the last video to go that well. There's a ton of support and constructive comments, and I appreciate all of them, especially the supportive one. I swear I am working on the mech video. It's been three videos now, and I keep teasing about it. I swear I'm not delaying it. Trust me. Just 60 more days, Arthur. Have some damn faith! We are gonna sail to Tahiti. We're leaving the country now? Mango 